An urban explorer captured creepy footage inside a secret warren of Nazi weapon tunnels. Urban explorer Warren Tepper and his friend, Matt, are on borrowed time, traipsing through an underground tunnel. They know a security van circles somewhere overhead, but they keep pushing on deeper into the historic bunker. Indeed, the site they chose to explore has a very lengthy, potentially dark history. The bunker seems to have played a part in World War II, and its location points to who may have used it, the tunnel snake beneath the city of Duisburg, Germany, a city held by the Nazis until the Allied forces took over the area. That historical draw could have been what pushed Tepper and Matt to advance further into the underground tunnels. Still, they didn't have time to research what they might find before their journey into the depths. Not every structure built in era's past remains in use today. What's more, historic or otherwise interesting buildings don't always get preserved. Instead, owners abandon them, and they sit untouched for years to come. Urban explorers seek out such neglected or otherwise abandoned structures. They also look for underground components or otherwise hidden pieces of known buildings. Matt has an explanation for his and Tepper's lack of knowledge, though. He says, we've only been really given a small bit of information about this place, that there is some holes with bunkers. Matt further explains, obviously, these bunkers were used in World War II, one don't know much more than that, though. I don't know what they were used for, whether it was for the city to come here, the people, the workers or what. There was another big factory over there, so I don't know if it was used for that. A look inside of the tunnels would help Matt and Tepper to understand the structure's significance, though. The pair follows what appears to be a beaten path, assuming it will lead to a tunnel entrance. Eventually, they find a small, rocky hole which appears to be the way inside. At first, it seems as though all that Tepper and Matt will find are the tunnels themselves. A few minutes into their track, the only thing of note that they find is a toad leaping through the darkened hallways. But in the tradition of urban exploring, Tepper and Matt continue onward, delving deeper into the tunnels eventually, they come to a grate-like structure blocking their path. Tepper wonders, what on earth is this? What are these things? He eventually realizes that he and Matt have come to a metal door, one that won't budge. As Tepper and Matt continue into the tunnels, they hear something surprising, the sounds of a busy roadway overhead. Matt wonders, why can I hear cars? Tepper replies, oh my god, no way. This auditory clue reveals just how close the historic structure sits to civilization. Still, the most surprising discovery is yet to come for Matt and Tepper. At first, Matt thinks he's found the heavy-duty door to a furnace of some sort, but Tepper dispels that notion. He soon realizes what the pair has found and, bearing in mind the bunker's potential ties to World War II and the Nazis, their discovery is an exciting one. Upon closer examination, Matt becomes convinced that Tepper is correct. He realizes the wood behind the bullet hole riddled metal has matching damage, but the tops of the planks, presumably out of the firing zone, remain in good shape. For one thing, the bullets tore through the metal completely, emerging through the other side of the sheet. Matt notes scuff marks and chunks missing to illustrate the weapon's power. The discoveries don't end with the weapon's testing room, though. Eventually, Matt and Tepper happen upon what the latter describes as a big blast door. The safeguard has a small hole in it, though, which would have allowed the tunnel's occupants to shoot out at invaders, should the tunnels become besieged. Another sign that the bunkers had a wartime role comes when Matt and Tepper wander into a really old part of the tunnels, as Matt describes it. He walks through a series of doors until he finds one with a label. Munitions room. He exclaims. With, with so much evidence, it's safe for Matt to proclaim that he and Tepper have, indeed, stumbled upon a piece of history. He says, these are definitely full-on World War II, maybe even World War I, bunkers. For, 
For one thing, Matt happens to notice a once shiny object on the floor of the bunker. He says, just found this little key on the floor, just down there. Tepper reckons it's potentially a handcuff key. For so, the pair suppose, the cashier's booth would have been where the Nazis checked visitors' credentials before letting them further into the tunnels. But the bullet hole signified that the entrance may have also seen unwanted visitors passing through, presumably the Allied forces during World War II who eventually defeated the Nazi regime. With, with that discovery, it is time for Tepper and Matt to make their way out of the underground bunkers. They return to their car, where they review their incredible finds during the day. Viewers of Matt's YouTube channel, Finders Beepers History Seekers, were energized by the duo's findings as well. One viewer wrote, that was a great explore, guys, very interesting, thanks very much for this. Viewers putting to British newspaper The Sun, the Duisburg-based tunnel system could have been a World War II shelter for Nazis during the bombing from Allied forces. But it also had its own bombardment system, where ammunition was tested on steel plates. According to the word, Tepper spoke to the Sun in September 2018 and reflected on the experience of discovering such a structure. He said that when he realized exactly what it was they were standing in and what it was used for, he became giddy. And it seemed as though the trip through the World War II bunker had imprinted itself onto Tepper's mind for the foreseeable future, as it marked many firsts for the urban explorer.